Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Good, because you're in for another treat tonight. Yes, that's right. We have chapter 26 of Thing by David Williams. And this chapter is called A Volcanic Explosion of Tears, Snot and Dribble. With his free hand, Mr. Meek snatched a packet of custard creams and raced to the nearest till. When all the items that Myrtle had grabbed had passed along the conveyor belt, the moody teenager cashier announced, That's a 783 pounds and 83 pence. That was a colossal haul of crisps, chocolate and sweets, even for Myrtle. But I don't have that much money, panicked Mr. Meek. Not me, yelped Mrs. Meek. She turned to her daughter. Beauteous one, do you mind awfully if we put back a bag or two of sweeties? Myrtle looked at her parents with utter contempt. No! She screamed. It was so loud, everyone in the supermarket could hear. In fact, it was so loud, everyone in the supermarket in the next town could hear too. Of course, being meek by name and meek by nature, the last thing Mr. and Mrs. Meek wanted was to make a scene. Even Fing didn't like it. The creature growled, closing its one eye and bit harder on Mr. (laughs) Father's finger again. He winced. Minty, Monty, Monty. As all eyes turned to the shy little man, he added, Apologies, my water is just going through a growth spurt. Grrr! Fing didn't like that. Oh no, the creature bit harder still. Yabbity dabbity do! He helped the father. Please, we need to get home and fast. Let's just put back this industrial sized tin of fudge. He reached into the trolley for it. Don't touch that fudge. And what if I do? Asked father. I'll scream and I'll scream and I'll scream until I throw up all over you. She's done that before, mused mother. Now, a queue of disgruntled shoppers was forming behind the Meek family. Being British, although no one was openly complaining at having to wait there, there was an awful lot of tutting. Oh no, we are being tutted at now. This is horrendously embarrassing, whispered father. Please, could we put back just one incy wincy inky old bag, begged mother, holding up a humble packet of toffees. Wah! wailed Myrtle. A volcanic explosion of tears and snot and dribble sprayed over everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Meek, Fing, the cashier, the queue, all were coated from head to toe in Myrtle's dear snot dribble gloop. Grrr, growled the Fing. Grumble, 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 grumbled the crowd of shoppers. That was refreshing, remarked Mother, trying to put a positive spin on having been well and truly snotted. And because of the commotion, the supermarket manager came charging out of her office. Out, 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 get out. Get out of my supermarket at once, she shouted. However, the tears, snot, dribble group had coated the floor, making it as slippery as an ice rink. This meant her authority was immediately undermined by her slipping over and completing the last part of her journey on her bottom. Ouch! She was sliding so fast that she hit the trolley with a thump, sending it thundering forward. Boom! It crashed straight through the supermarket window. Smash! Sending Myrtle and all the shopping zooming off down the street. 
Whoosh! Oh, dearie, dearie me, remarked Mother. Oh, dearie, 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 us indeed, added Father. The end of chapter 26 of Fing by David Williams. And tonight's chapter was called A Volcanic Explosion of Tears, Snot and Dribble. Here on the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good night.